Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. So y'all, I want to do a get ready with me and talk to you guys about the Navitus collaboration. Well, tell y'all what I could tell y'all because I can't tell y'all too much. But I'm so excited and I want to share the journey with you guys because it is a journey. It's been a journey and it's going to continue to be a journey. So I just want to share some details with you guys, what I can share, because I can't tell y'all everything. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, leave me a comment so we can get to know each other. Like the video and leave me your scent of the day. So speaking of scent of the day, y'all, I smell so good right now. <laughs> y'all already know ain't nobody smelling better than me, okay? Now, let me tell y'all what I'm wearing. So I showered with um, my Olive Olay. Is it Olive Olay? Yes. No, it's Olay, uh, my ginger body wash. And, you know, pat dry myself, came out the shower, and then my first step in my moisturization process is the Origins Ginger Gloss. So that's this right here. Y'all, this is a staple in my oil body care um, shower routine collection because this right here is so amazing. It absorbs into your skin. It leaves you looking nice and with a healthy glow, not too shiny or greasy, but it definitely leaves you with a good glow. The scent, it smells like Canada Dry or like um, some type of a ginger ale, like a sweet ginger ale. So this was my first step. And then I went in with the body cream, which is the Ginger Souffle. That's this right here. Y'all, let me put some more on my hands because that's what I was doing before I called y'all. So let me make sure I'm not ashy. But this is nice and soft and smooth and moisturizing. It feels so good against the skin. I love it. So my base is ginger, right? From the shower to the oil to the body cream. Now, the fragrance combination, y'all, these two. Cherry Smoke by Tom Ford and BDK's Rouge Smoking. Now, they're not similar at all, okay? But when I tell y'all, they work so beautiful together. Like, the Cherry Smoke, y'all already know it's deep, it's dark, it's woody, it's resinous. Ugh! It's so fire. Y'all don't even... Do y'all have this yet? Like, do y'all have the cherry smoke? If you have the cherry smoke, let's talk about it below. Because honestly, it has me in a chokehold. Okay? Like, I... Ooh. Not a chokehold. Um, it has me wrapped up. I already told y'all I'm leaving chokehold. I'm trying to leave chokehold in 2022. I was advised by my advisor, aka Bay. He was like, why don't you leave the chokehold in 2022? So I thought about it. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Let me let me leave it in 2022. But it's hard, y'all. I'm trying, but I cannot stop saying it. But this right here, it has me. And then I just sprayed. This is like a mister. Like, I love the mist of this. It comes out kind of like a body mist to me. So I just do just a nice, good mist on top. Oh, oh my goodness. Y'all, I've created magic. Rouge Smoking by BDK and Tom Ford's Cherry Smoke. You can save 20% on SoAvantGuard.com using my discount code, the Great 20 If y'all don't have this, y'all need to get it. It's so good. It's like a sweet cherry root beer float. Obviously, I love it, y'all. Like, this is almost done. Not almost. You know, I have maybe, like, how I wear it, I have a good month with this. Because, first of all, this layers beautifully with so many fragrances. And it also is a beautiful scent on its own. Like this is just magic. Like it's magic in a bottle. I absolutely love it. And it just gives cherry smoke this super sexy sweetness, but it's not anything like lost cherry. It just gives it a separate, like its own, like, are you even a chat? Like, I don't even know what this is. It's just fire. Okay. Oh my goodness. Y'all, this is so fire. So anyway, I don't want to keep y'all too long. So I'm going to show you guys like my look for today or for tonight. Um, It's date night with me and Bae. Now the curls are super tight, but that's because I just took out the flexi rods. So by the time I get dressed and we leave and I'm in the car, by the time we get to where we get into, they're going to be, they're going to fall and they're going to be like how it should be. So, if you want to see my look and know more about my Navitus collaboration, just continue to watch.
All right, y'all, so let's get into this. Do y'all remember the robe that I asked Bay to get me early for my early Christmas gift? Because I know he's going to buy me a robe. So I'm like, just can you buy it for me just a little bit early? Because I didn't want it to sell out. Well, it's on sale right now. <laughs> but I don't think my size is in stock. Yeah, I don't think my size is in stock. But whatever. It's so beautiful, y'all. I'm going to show y'all in a second like what it looks like on. But so let's get into this tea. We're going to start with my hair first. And thank y'all so much. Y'all are like, oh my God, like I love the new hairstyle and the new look or whatever. I'm going to tell y'all, prior to 2020, well, no, because in 2020, I did start off the year with really, really long hair, but then lockdown happened. And so here's the thing. So I always had really long hair, right? And I would curl it or leave it straight or, you know, do whatever different things to it, but it was always long. So then 2020 happened, I had a weave and I wasn't going to get my hair done until April. That was when I was planning to get my hair done. And it was like overdue to be done, like taken out and just be done all over. But I wanted it fresh for our trip because we were going to Thailand. So obviously we didn't end up going to Thailand. Everything shut down. So Bay had to take my weave out. <laughs> so then when things started to open up a little bit more, and I decided to, you know, start my YouTube channel and I'm doing videos. I don't want to be going to the hair salon because it's still, you know, like fresh and everything is going on and with COVID and everything like that. So I just decided to get a bob because it was easy for me to maintain. And it was just, it was just the ease and the simplicity of everything. I didn't really care. You know, it wasn't really about like my look too much. It was about me starting my channel, looking presentable for you guys but also having something easy and maintainable. And then I just got lazy and I just like rocked out with it for the past two years on YouTube. But I mean, it is what it is. So thank you guys for complimenting me on the hair. So we're gonna start with the hair first while I give y'all the tea. Um, I'm about to curl it and I just use these flexi rods. I love these y'all. I like to curl my hair right before I do my makeup. And then once my makeup is done and I'm dressed, not really dressed, but once my makeup is done, then I'll take the curls out and it'll be nice and curled. So y'all ready for the tea? Let me just get this one curl in first. I'm coming. Just make sure it's there. Okay. So, y'all, it's so. Cr oh, wait. First of all, thank y'all so much for all of your congratulations and your support, and just you guys backing me and just being so happy and super supportive of this new venture with Navitus. Because honestly, like. Y'all like made me cry. Like, and I'm not even like capping right now. This is like dead serious. I was tearing up because you guys were so supportive. People that I haven't seen in a while, like y'all was coming out the woodworks. I'm like, where's she, where's she been? But you know, y'all are congratulating me. And it was just so, just having you guys support you. Like you don't even understand how much it means to me to have the support of a community of a fragrance family that we're building right here that you know you guys don't like we don't really know each other we know each other through youtube and you know instagram and you know we know each other to an extent but the fact that y'all are supporting me like y'all are my family like for real for real like that just means so much to me you don't even understand so i just even though i mean i thanked you guys like i responded to every comment but i just wanted to thank you guys again here because it was just insane. Like it was just overwhelming actually. So the opportunity to create an exclusive fragrance with Navitus came about end of summer in 2022, right? Yeah, last year. Last year, end of summer, that's when the opportunity was brought to me. Here's the thing. I never get down on myself or feel sad when an opportunity doesn't work out because I know that when one door closes, God is about to open another one. You know what I mean? And what's for me is gonna be for me. So 
I never trip or stress about an opportunity that never happens because one opportunity outweighs the other, in my opinion. You know what I mean? So the opportunity came and I was so excited, but I wanted to make sure that everything was everything. I've never done a collaboration with Navitus, obviously, so I didn't know what everything entailed. I didn't know if I was gonna have 100% creative control over the fragrance, and that's obviously what I wanted. So once I spoke to the CEO and we had like, what was it, like a two hour conversation on the phone, we had a Zoom meeting and you know, we were both on the same page and he was feeling my vibe, I was feeling his vibe. And we were like, yeah, like I'm down, like, yes, let's make this happen. And then we started to work. So I, I wish I could tell you guys, I really can't tell you guys too much yet but just know that it should be dropping sometime either late March or early April. So I finalized the scent and y'all, it took months for me to really, how can I? Cause I'm trying to tell y'all, but not really tell y'all. It took months for me to actually finalize the scent. Once I smelled the scent, I was like, okay, this is it right here. I had to give them a whole like synopsis of what I wanted the fragrance to smell like, how I wanted it to make the wearer feel, and you know, just the, the reaction from others when the wearer is wearing it, something that's gonna boost confidence and you know, just be exotic and different and unique, but still wearable, still appealing. So the scent is incredible. I can't tell you guys the perfumer that I worked with or anything like that just yet, we're going into production in about a couple of weeks. We just have to tweak just one or two things with the scent itself. And then the ball is gonna roll. Like everything is already picked out, like in terms of the name, um, my bottle, the labels and all that other type of stuff. So once everything is finalized, then it'll go into production. And once it's in production, it'll macerate for about three to four weeks. And then, I'll be able to talk to you guys about notes and you guys will be able to purchase the fragrance. And obviously there's gonna be a discount for y'all for the first, I guess, few hundred or something like that. I'm not sure how we're gonna work that out, but I'm just so excited. And the funny thing is, the first time I ever heard about Navisys is through Big Beard Business. So cut to 2022 to be the first black female creator to have my own fragrance, my exclusive fragrance with Nabitus. I mean, it's like a dream come true. I'm so excited, y'all. As a reviewer and someone who loves fragrance in general, just to have creative control to create my own fragrance for you guys to smell, like that is so crazy to me. That is so exciting, it's so insane to me. I'm like right now I know it's a reality but for months it was like a dream to me like are you freaking kidding me like <sighs> that first spray when it's out the bottle because obviously I'm spraying it from just the little vials that I'm getting but once it's in the bottle and I'm taking it out the packaging and I'm spraying and over spraying on me that's just gonna hit different like it's definitely gonna hit different so I cannot wait and I cannot wait i think i'm gonna be like staying up all night when you guys get it because i can't wait to hear your thoughts and as far as promo and i'm um, sending sending the fragrance out to reviewers i'm not gonna do that because i i want people to like if you want to support me then by all means purchase the fragrance and i want to know your true feelings like i feel like if i send it to someone or send it to people they're going to feel obligated to say something nice <laughs> but i want your true feelings i mean obviously it's going to be something nice because the fragrance is fire like let's just start there but you know like if you really if it's not your style or if you really don't feel the fragrance like i don't want you to feel like oh i don't want her to feel bad so if you want to support me then by all means, I would love to hear everyone's thoughts. I am, however, going to send it to From Abby With Love. And that's not for her to review. If she chooses to review it, then that's fine. But I'm sending it to Abby because obviously she's my YouTube bestie. 
she was the first person that i told before i made the announcement to you guys and we send each other things all the time so me sending her the fragrance is literally me sending her a gift it's not for review but if she reviews it then great but i know abby's fragrance style and we have very 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 similar taste in fragrances so i know she's gonna love it so yeah y'all that is the tea that i can spill because i can't spill all the tea because i don't want to get burned you know what i'm saying <laughs> But that's basically it. I'm so happy, y'all. I wish I could tell y'all more. But it is what it is. I was thinking about having... If you guys are in the New York, New Jersey area or even Connecticut area, let me know if I have a little... like a, Not a speakeasy. Would that be a speakeasy? Something like a speakeasy at a lounge or somewhere, somewhere in New Jersey. <laughs> um, would you guys be open to come and um, maybe like get your bottle signed and, you know, we could talk about the fragrance and you could tell me in person if you love it or not. Would you guys be interested in that if you're in the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut area? Let me know. Because I definitely want to obviously have like some type of a launch party or some type of a celebration. And I would love to have a few of you guys come, a few of my supporters come. So leave it in the comments and let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. So I'm about to curl this hair and then I'm gonna start my makeup. So once I finish curling my hair, I'm gonna start my face and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. I'm just color correcting around my mouth area. And this is the MAC, um, what is this called? The Studio Fix Conceal and Correct Palette. I love this y'all. And this is the color dark. It's the second to the deepest one that they offer. fact that I'm about to make history around Black History Month for me. I mean, this is history in the making, okay? The first Black female creator to have a fragrance with Navitus. And Black History Month is right around the corner. Like, call me cheesy, but this is so real for me. Who doesn't want to make history, right? Oh, so the primer that I used, y'all, is the Milk Hydro Grip. <laughs> y'all, this is going to be in a favorites video. This is everything. I just started using it, but I love, 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 love it, y'all. I got it in December, and I've been using it since then. I haven't picked up my Tatcha um, primer because this right here, it leaves a glow on your skin, but it also, like the makeup literally sticks to it. So it doesn't go anywhere and I absolutely love it. And I'm just gonna use my Clinique, good old faithful. That's why, like I don't buy a whole bunch of foundations because I pretty much stick to what I like. I have maybe like five foundations. So I'm going to use my Sephora number 64 brush that I love so much. This brush is everything. Oh, how did I forget to tell y'all? So I'm thinking about returning cherry, not cherry, um, electric cherry. I'm really considering to return it back to Neiman Marcus. And I spoke to Bay about it and he said like, if I return it, it's fine. Like as long as I'm happy, like he doesn't care. Um, He does love it, but it's not like, 
you know, if I don't want to keep it. And it's not about the scent because I love the scent, y'all. But the thing with that fragrance is that after about 10 minutes on me, it's gone. So I feel like for $400, um, yeah, you need to stick around longer than 10 minutes, boo. And I tested it with oil and body cream and it just fades away into nothing. It could be that it needs to macerate because it is really, really new. So I'm gonna let it sit for like, I guess another week or so. But yeah, I'm not into having a fragrance that I like but I'm not gonna pick it up because although I have a bunch of fragrances, I wear every single one of these fragrances. Whether I wear it once a month, once every six months, once a year, it doesn't matter. I'm wearing all of my fragrances. So to have a fragrance that I know I'm not gonna reach for because of the poor performance, that's not sitting right with me. Because at the end of the day, Although it's a different fragrance from Lost Cherry, like the scent, it's more sweet, more playful, more bright. Lost Cherry is super seductive, super sexy. Um, and it's actually deeper than Electric Cherry. I mean, I feel like it's really not that deep. <laughs> like the scent isn't that spectacular for me to want to keep it, to just only have it on for 10 minutes. Like that, that doesn't work for me. So now we're gonna conceal. Do y'all have this, have you ever used this, this Kosas concealer? I have the colors Warm 80 and 7.5. I bought these because it was like a whole hype, like they, they were so popular on TikTok and you know, whatever. And I purchased them, like I fell into the hype and I do like them, but I mean, I don't see what the hype is about. Like it's cool, but it's not, like any more coverage than any of my other concealers and you know it's supposed to have like skincare benefits in there but um i'm not really impressed it's not doing anything for me now this right here the pat mcgrath labs concealer obsessed this is full coverage i only need the one because this color is perfect for me and this is 23 it's perfect for me. It highlights. It doesn't look too light. And it's super full coverage. I don't worry about a concealer that claims that it doesn't crease. Because honestly, like my concealers don't really crease under my eyes because I'm setting them with my Laura Mercier powder. So... I just want a full coverage concealer. Like once I put it on in one or two swipes, I want it to be opaque. And with this concealer, hold up. With the Pat McGrath concealer, I still have to dry it because for me, like I dry all my concealers except for stick or cream concealers. But with the Kosas, I feel like I have to dry it for a really, really long time. But I mean, I'm still gonna use it and still play around with it, but like it's cool. It's not a bad concealer, but I was expecting like, to be blown away how they was talking about it. And I don't think I'm that hard to please. So. I don't know. But I know Pat McGrath, like I'll always buy this. This concealer is everything.
Did I buy the Charlotte Tilbury? I think I have a Charlotte Tilbury concealer too. I don't think I told y'all, but I did buy the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I forgot the name of it, but it was her latest concealer. I told y'all already, I have a, a, not a vice, um, I just have a love or slight obsession with concealer. That's my favorite part of makeup. Like complexion period is my favorite part of makeup. I have eyeshadows and I'll do eye looks, you know, every now and again. You guys never see it because I definitely don't do it for my videos because when I'm doing my videos, I just want something that's going to go with all the looks that I'm about to change in because I'm batch creating. So I'm not about to do a whole bunch of eyeshadow looks. But when we go out on a date night, that's when I have fun with eyeshadow colors. And you guys don't never ever see that actually. Because whenever I'm doing a date night, get ready with me, like tonight, I'm just doing something basic. Because I feel like when I do those looks, I need to really concentrate and I just don't feel like filming. But this is like my go-to quick face. So I can film with this face. I wanted to talk to y'all about I feel like now that I have y'all here I'm drawing a blank because I feel like I had a few things to talk to y'all about but I don't remember I do want to show y'all a couple of glasses that I purchased some shades oh and I got some earrings from Nordstrom Rack I want to show y'all those too because they're super cute and I can link them for you. So if you want to spend like $13 or $14 on some earrings that's real cute, I got y'all because I love earrings. I love accessories, period. But earrings are my favorite piece of costume jewelry. Big, small gold silver like whatever what i need is some good hoops i need some good like big bronx girl hoops like when i lived in the bronx i used to go to the beauty supply store and if y'all know the beauty supply store like y'all know that place is like the candy shop i kind of miss being able to go i mean i kind of miss it but then i kind of don't but like my beauty supply store that's by me is Sally's. Sally's ain't got nothing for me. I mean, I'm not going. <laughs> Let me not say that. I do get a couple of things from Sally's, but like I need to go to the hood and get some real like beauty supply store stuff. I need to go to the hood with like $200 and just rack up. I need stocking caps. I need like wrap tape i just need like stuff that i can't get from sally's and i mean amazon you can get a couple of things from amazon nowadays but it's nothing like going in the beauty supply store and just walking down them tight little aisles and just picking up everything all at one time i need some new head scarves I just need that in my life. Like I said, I go there with like $200 or $250 and rack up. And then I can maintain and get whatever I need from Sally's. <laughs> or Harmon's. But no, Sally's is like more of a beauty supply store than Harmon's. But I do love me some Harmon's too, Joe. So let me hurry up and do my face because I don't want y'all just staring bored because I really don't have anything else to say. So 
let me finish my base and then I'll come back with you guys. All right, y'all. So I have some time before I got to get dressed, but I wanted to show y'all like a little haul, nothing crazy, but I do have something from Dior in the holiday packaging that y'all know I love. I also have a little Fendi and I also have Nordstrom Rack. Good old Nordstrom Rack. That's right. Ain't nothing wrong with the rack. So let me show y'all what I got from Nordstrom Rack first. So I got some earrings. So we have these regular like hoops. They're by Nine West, but I think they're so cute. They have like a little detailing, like a like a rope kind of detailing on it. These are so cute. I'll link them because I think they're still available. And these were $16.99. But they're a nice chunky hoop. Let me see. I took my earrings off because I wasn't really satisfied with those. I'm probably going to change my earrings like 35 times before we leave. Because that's just what I do. It's what I do. Change my earrings whenever I have time. I'll probably change my outfit a couple of times. Don't give me time. Because I'm going to find something to do with it. <laughs> so let me show y'all what they look like. I just had to clean them off with alcohol. My 99% alcohol and my little cotton pad. So this is what they look like. They're cute, right, y'all? It's like a nice... It's not giving, like... Bronx girl hoop, which I love because I am a Bronx girl, but you know, they'll do. I like them, they're really cute. They're making a little statement. You see them through the hair. I love these. So, I have these another pair of hoops. You can never have enough hoops, y'all, for me, anyway. And then I got another pair that came in this box. This is Zaxi by Stephanie Taylor. I have no idea who that is. But she got some cute little earrings. Ooh, look at these, y'all. How gorgeous. This is so pretty. Let me take them out so you can see them. But this is how they look in the box. So cute, right? So these are the backs that these earrings come with. And when I tell y'all, I hate these backs with a passion. Like, you would think these backs did something to me in a past life. I despise these earring backs. Look at this, y'all. The ones that look like, it's like the plastic back with the gold on top. Can y'all see? Look at this. Y'all know the earring backs, like the fake earring backs. Let me put y'all on. So I get these from Amazon. I'm going to link them for y'all. But I wear big earrings, okay? Like big, heavy earrings. Let me show y'all if y'all are new here and y'all don't know. Look how big these are. See? Big earrings. I mean, they get really big. Like, they get even bigger, honey. Look at this. Now, when I'm wearing something like this, obviously, like, there's no jewelry, like, no other jewelry. And, you know, it goes with the outfit. But I'm just trying to show y'all that your girl wears big earrings. And they're always heavy. So, these little plastic earring backs, they, they can't hold these up. You even uh, lost your earring before you even got to the car. So... These are the backs that I get. They're rubber backs. They're all rubber. So I find that they stick to your skin and the earring and they're tighter. They just don't move. So this is what they look like. And like I said, I'm going to link them for y'all because if you wear earrings, then you need to get these. Oh, this is so pretty, y'all. Look at this. It's so elegant and just, oh, let me clean them almost forgot but these are so cute i love the fact that they're not all 
gold, like um, yellow gold, because they're kind of like almost like gunmetal, and um, like one side looks gunmetal and one side looks gold. It almost looks kind of like um, army green, almost. Where's my back? Where's the back? I thought I had it. Oh, here it is. So they're just elegant and pretty. I like them. They're cute. They're cute and they don't look cheap. Yeah. Love these. Love them. And they're not heavy. They don't feel heavy at all. Another one from the same company, Zaxi. So these retail for $13.99. And the ones that I just showed y'all, the hanging ones, they retail for $19.97. So these are $20. And this one is $13.99. Which one is this? Oh, this one is kind of cute. I kind of went back and forth with this one. But, um... She said if I didn't like them, I could return them. But I think I'm going to keep them. Let me take them out the thing for you. This is what they look like. Yeah, I'm keeping them. They cute, right? They're cute. They're not doing too much. Doing just enough. Let me clean them off. So I could try one on. They're cute. They kind of look antique like almost vintage a little bit. And I'm telling you, these backs, I even changed the Chanel earring backs because the Chanel earrings come with these, those plastic backs that I hate. I'm like, why? Wait, this is stuck together. Hold on, y'all. All right. So let me put this on. Show y'all what these look like. You could spend hundreds of dollars on designer earrings, because I do. But you can also spend $20 and less. And get a cute earring look at that super cute right love these they're not too big but i feel like if the hair isn't in the way it'll be really cute really really cute okay so the last earring from nordstrom rack again is by zaxby and this box is pink or i said zaxby <laughs> Obviously, I want to go to Atlanta. Um, Zaxi. Not Zaxby's. But whenever I'm in Atlanta, I love eating at Zaxby's. <laughs> Some tasty fast food. All right. So look at these, y'all. How cute is this? Super cute, right? I love them. I think these are my favorite out of all of them. How much were these? How much were the Zaxby's? $14.97. $14.97. Now, if this was Dior or Valentino or Gucci or something... This would have been like $2,500. But Nordstrom Rack, don't sleep. Super cute. And they have a nice weight to them. They're, they're like borderline heavy. But like I said, I have these backs. And I mean, I like big earrings. I mean, they're not super heavy. But as you can see, the quality, it's like a tortoise on the back, like tortoise shell. And on this side, it has rhinestones covering the tortoise. And they're sparkly. They're so gorgeous. But obviously, with this light, you're not going to be able to really see them. 
So that's my Nordstrom haul. So now let's go to where are we going? Let's go to let's go to Fendi. So we're gonna open this cute little Fendi bag. I told y'all in my last haul that I'm going on after this month. I'm going on um I can't say no buy because I'm gonna see something I like, and then once the no buy is over, like let's say I go on a no buy until June. When June comes, everything that I wanted in January, February, March, April, and May, I'm gonna buy all of it in June. And I'm gonna be spending way more, I mean, I'm spending the same amount of money, but I'm spending like one big lump sum because I'm gonna want everything that I see that I want. Like if I want it, I'm gonna get it. So it's just best for me to go on a low buy so I can spread everything out in moderation and not have to really just jump in like I was a caged beast and now I'm buying everything in the world. <laughs> so this is the box that it came in. And I got a pair of sunglasses. I told y'all I'm just revamping my sunglass collection and getting ready for spring. So I got some Fendi glasses. What's this? Oh, was this the dust bag? No. Oh, the cleaning cloth? This is cute. It's a big one. And it says Fendi. This is a really nice cloth. This is my... Y'all, this is my first and only pair of Fendi glasses. Wow. Interesting. So the case is like... A bubble jacket like if you're from new york or new jersey or whatever it's cold it but really new york like i even gone front like you got to give it to new york like we like we solidified or we unclaimed we adopted the bubble coat okay so this looks like a bubble coat like a bubble north face or like a bubble something so it's nice and padded and these are what i got these are the y'all be wanting to know names because What's the name of these? The baguette metal. So these are the Fendi baguette sunglasses. So this is what they look like. They have like the FFs here, like the Fendi logo here and here. And then I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like monogrammed in the frame. I'm gonna have to turn this ring light off or down, off. So can y'all see? It's like monogram in the frame. Let's put them on. Y'all can't see. I think that's worse. But they have the FF's logo all over the glasses. But this is what they look like on. Super chic. They're not too big, not too small. And I'm just feeling Fendi right now, y'all. I really am. So, ooh, too light. So this is what they look like. I'm gonna link them. But yeah, the FFs are all like on the frame. So that's from Fendi. Put these here. So now let me show y'all what I got from Zewa in the holiday packaging that's so gorgeous to me i love this so much i wish they would just keep this packaging so here's the box super cute nicely wrapped so let's open it together Ooh. can y'all tell it's another pair of sunglasses I told y'all, I'm on a sunglass kick and I'm done right now. Like, do y'all do that? Like, I go through these, like, kicks and these phases. It's so unhealthy, right? Like, it has to be an unhealthy, like, habit. So, this is the case that they came in. Interesting. Because I have these exact same glasses in white. These right here. These are the 30 Montaigne's. I love these. Like, the shape of this is beautiful. This is all black. I'm going to show y'all. But this is what I have in white. And this wasn't the case. Let me show y'all the case that those came in. Because this case is much better. I'm going to have to um, 
hit up my sales associate because I want this case. This is the case that the white ones came in. It's like flat, and I thought this was cool. Like it's cute, you know, it's flat. It fits in any bag, but this case, it's like, I don't know. I just like this case better. Are these the same glasses? Yes, they're the same glasses. Yeah, see, it's stuff like that. Like, keep it consistent. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep it consistent. Give me the other case, please. So, but I love these glasses, y'all. I knew I loved them from the white ones. I just love how they fit my face. So here's what they look like. And let me show y'all what they look like on. Come on, Hollywood Glam. Come on, come on. So y'all... Are y'all ready to go? Because I'm ready. Like, come on, Hollywood Glam. This is so fire, y'all. I mean, it's the big glasses for me. So fire. So 30 Montaigne in black. And like I said, how much y'all want bet? I'm going to get me another case because I love this case. This case is cool, but... I want it to be uniformed. It's the consistency for me. They're the same price. So I'm going to need the better case for my white ones as well. Now, the last thing I want to show y'all from Dior. It's not a new purchase. It's my... What do you call this bag again? What is this? The book tote. It's my large book tote. But y'all, I finally got it personalized with my name. So there's my name. If you're new here, my name is Aisha. Yes, Aisha. I am the girl that I never had and I want to get to know me better. <laughs> so this is the bag, y'all. So I have my name. I wanted to get AI the Great, but they don't do um, nicknames or anything like that. It has to be like a first name. Well, whatever it is, it has to be like a name, not a nickname. And um, it can't have any characters. It can have, like, I could have put the Dior B here, like a B here and like a heart or like the Dior symbols. But I was like, I'm gonna just keep it clean and plain. And I just got my name, Aisha. Now I will say, the Christian Dior is raised. It's like a whole lot more thread in the embroidery. So it's raised and you definitely can see it from the side. The Aisha, it's not that raised. Like they gave me a little flat Aisha, but it's cool. It's cool. I'm gonna deal with it. Cause I think it's so cute y'all because whenever I have this bag and it's not on this side, my name wasn't here and it was just looking so plain to me. So I finally took it to get personalized cause I wasn't wearing it for like, the past two weeks but honestly they said it was gonna take two weeks but it took less than a week or maybe it just took a week i'm not sure but it wasn't a long time so and whenever you purchase your bag from dior the um personalization personalization is free so yes yeah, so i just got my name on my book tote that i love so much i'm obsessed with this bag y'all if another color comes out i think i want to get it because i really wear this bag and this color combination is perfect for the spring, summer, fall, winter. But, you know, like when it's not like snowing or anything like that, just on a cold day, I can possibly wear it. But I'm going to put her down until spring, give her a little rest. I can miss her a little bit. So that's it, y'all. It's time for me to get dressed and get out of here because my stomach is growling. I hope y'all wasn't hearing my stomach <laughs> because I'm starving. But anyway... Um, did I need to tell y'all anything else? Oh, I don't think so. I think that's it. So thank y'all for watching this vlog. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out. But I'll see you in my next video. Peace.